Hey guys, I have a piece of very, very valuable information for you. How do you know that that investment platform you invested your money is about to close shop? How can you tell that a Ponzi scheme is about to crash? You will find out this and many more things <laughs> in this video. You know what? Don't go anywhere. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Hi guys, it's Victor Isibo once again, the face and the voice behind Victor Isibo Reviews. Helping you with your due diligence with make money online and offline opportunities If this is your first time, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming But before you go, make sure to hit the red subscribe button below Turn on the bell notification icon So that you don't miss any of my subsequent videos And to my returning subscribers and viewers Salute! It's a pleasure having you back on this YouTube channel. Today, I want to share with you eight ways you can tell that that platform, that scheme, that online business, that Ponzi scheme that you invested in is about to crash. Remember, I always tell you guys, you can make money from Ponzi schemes if you enter early, if you have a clear-cut exit strategy, and you come out of it before the platform collapses. Be an early bird. That is what I always say. And when you are in a platform, we do not know when the saturation is going to happen and the platform is going to collapse. What are the telltale signs that should inform your quick decision to do what? In the words of the famous, late, legendary Nigerian musician Fela Kuti. Ah. <coughs> run, oh. Run, oh. That is when you will know when to run. You quickly withdraw because the deposit button on any Ponzi scheme outlives the withdrawal button. What are the telltale signs? Look at me. I've been interacting with Ponzi schemes for a long time. I, I don't need to see any of these signs I'm going to mention before I will know. We smell crash. <laughs> Bef even when everything is going on fine, somebody like me, I can perceive crash. Yes, from afar, I smell it. But for you, maybe you have not been interacting with it for too long. You are still an Ajebota. You need these telltale signs to know when to withdraw your money and run. Number one sign that the platform is about to collapse. Promo. I know many platforms that, in my experience, going to almost two decades experience interacting with these Ponzi schemes, I know that many platforms, before they collapse, they start doing plenty of promo. In those promos, they are doing those promos to favor network marketers. And referral bonus normally is 10%. But we are doing a promo, Easter promo. This is April, right? Easter promo, 50% referral bonus. Why are they giving these incentives? Why are they offering these incentives to the network marketers? I will tell you why. You see, a Ponzi scheme needs new entrants into the system. If people are not entering the system with new money, it starves the Ponzi scheme of money. Then the existing members start complaining because there's no longer cash flow into their pockets. And a Ponzi scheme does not have an external way of bringing money into the system except through referrals. So if newer people are not being recruited steadily, the scheme starts to starve. And once it starts to starve, in a bid to salvage the situation and motivate all those network marketers that used to bring people and have refused to bring people anymore to motivate them, offer them 
higher referral bonus. The moment a network marketer sees that it is 50% bonus, mm, they'll roll up their sleeves. They will start bringing out those innate network marketing qualities that had retired. Okay, they resurrect them and they start using it to chase after people so that they can get that 50% bonus. So those network marketers, motivated by greed, they go out, they go out, eh? they go out and they chase prospects. Tell them, invest in the platform. You tell them, I don't have money. They'll say, you have money in Jesus' name. Don't, 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 don't be speaking negative to yourself. You have money. This scheme, you must put your money because this scheme is legitimate. They will start vouching for the platform. The owner of the company is my uncle's former friend's neighbor's relative. Oh, oh. He shot you! Uh, oh God, that's the way you talk. Repeat him again. It's okay. We do keep quiet. It's a lie, yo. Uh -huh. So when you see that a platform you are investing in is doing promo back to back to back for no reasonable reason. Uh, it is our CEO's birthday, so we decided to do promo. Uh, our CEO's son, he has not had appetite for weeks. He finished three plates of rice. So we want to do promo. Looking for any excuse to do a promo. Go and use that withdrawal button. Withdraw your money. That ship is about to sink. Number two sign that a Ponzi scheme is about to collapse. <laughs> if it's a Ponzi scheme, who has a known CEO? Once your company or Ponzi scheme CEO starts living the flashy lifestyle, is always in the news now and he's dating xyz model is dating xyz nollywood actress he's buying cars for this buying cars for that his wife used to have a small restaurant now the restaurant has become a full-fledged eatery now his children no longer attend that former school he has upgraded them to another school he's making trips abroad to and fro <laughs> where is he getting the money oh he's even adding weight a, a, a ceo that was that was weighing 60 kg when the platform started six months ago all of a sudden he has spot belly uh -huh. now he's weighing 120 kg <laughs> my brothers and sisters in the words of great fella nikula pokuti ah. <coughs> Rano. telltale sign number three that that ponzi scheme is about to collapse Listen, withdrawal, withdrawal is the reason everybody invests in a platform. You see, when uh, you're telling somebody about a platform, they'll tell you, have you withdrawn? Show me withdrawal proof. Everybody wants to know whether they can actually cash out their earnings from a platform. Now, you will know that a platform is about to collapse if they now begin to change the withdrawal requirements be observant of any changes around withdrawal policy schemes deposit does not really have any issues deposit remains the same from the beginning till the end the one that begins to change later is withdrawal now when you initiate a withdrawal initially in two hours you get a credit alert yeah but now you are seeing a situation where withdrawal is going from two hours now to 12 hours from 12 hours to 24 hours <laughs> now you are in a situation whereby somebody has asked for withdrawal since two days they have not been credited calm down calm down the platform will come to you and tell you eh, some hackers are playing with our withdrawal system so they will come and tell you that or they will start changing the requirements for withdrawal some platforms will tell you before you can withdraw you have to refer two people to the platform they want to use withdrawal as a means to force you to market and bring in new money bring people so that we'll use their money to pay you eh? go and bring people then when you refer those two people your withdrawal is still pending you tell your upline upline my withdrawal is still pending Upline will say, have you referred people? You say, yes, I referred two people. I have met the requirements. I still haven't been paid. Then your upline will not be like, the two people you referred, are they, are they, are they slim or they are fat? 
Does that matter? I referred two slim girls. You see? You want to withdraw big money, but you are referring slim people. Yes, Come on, go and uh, go and go and look for all those big, big mama and refer them. That is when you are going to get paid. Because these uplines are always in denial. They feel that if they tell you the truth, you are going to be disappointed. So when the terms and conditions of withdrawal is becoming more complicated every day, they are shifting the goalpost every day. As they are shifting the goalpost, the time frame with which you used to get credited before at the platform is shifting from two hours to four hours, four hours to eight hours. Now, 24 hours, people have not been paid. My brothers and sisters. Rono Telltale sign number four that that your Ponzi scheme you invested in is about to crash. Maintenance, 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 maintenance. Yeah, a platform is just doing maintenance for the past three days. I've not been able to log in. What is happening? Uh, we are doing site maintenance from so so and so time to so so and so time. Why are you doing maintenance? A uh, massive influx of people. Our website is finding it difficult to cope. Oh, you did not know that you are going to sign up many people. Why didn't you create a website that will be able to cope with the massive sign up? Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. One day, monkey go go market. Ino go come back again. The website is a monkey. Maintenance is the market. One day, that website will go to the market of maintenance and it will not return. <laughs> Once you see that the maintenance is becoming too much for you to maintain, my brother, the moment they come back from that long maintenance, ask for withdrawal. Withdraw your money, fold your arms and watch. Before you know, you will hear the bad news. Telltale sign number five that a Ponzi scheme is about to close shop. Massive sign-ups. Somebody told me that Nigerian crowd is a poisonous crowd. That when Nigerians register for a platform, the platform in no time dies. Well, that is only true for Ponzi schemes. Okay? Because as people are entering the Ponzi scheme, okay, the existing members the number of the existing numbers continually increases okay so for you to be able to pay the existing numbers of people in a system you need equal amount at least or more of new entrants into the system okay the number of new entrants should outweigh or at least be equal to the number of existing members for the system to remain healthy now, when there is a mismatch, the existing members far outweigh the number of entrants into the system. That is when the system has become saturated. In the terms of uh, cash Ponzi schemes, gifting Ponzi schemes like MMM, you say the GH get help as how weighed the ph provide help the number of people who are ready to provide money into the system is not enough to pay the number of people with open arms who wants to get help the moment that you see that anybody you market a platform to says i'm already on board i'm already on board i'm already on board i have heard about it i'm already on board oh everybody knows about it <laughs> my brothers and sisters <laughs> Jelly, look for the withdrawal button on that website. Go ahead, look for it. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, press withdraw. Which amount? You're asking me which amount. Click on all. Cash out all your money. The whole world already knows about the platform. So, who is remaining that will come into the system, that will pay the existing members in the system? It is time to go, my brothers and sisters. Telltale sign number six that, that your Ponzi scheme is about to crash. <laughs> Many websites have P2P functionality on their website. The P2P means peer-to-peer -peer donation, where a member can send to another member. Now, that P2P technically is a form of withdrawal. If I have tokens belonging to the website, I have two options. I can either withdraw it and wait for the website to pay me. Or if I have somebody who is a new entrant into the system, needs those tokens to invest, I can transfer those tokens to them, P2P, while they pay me in cash. 
the moment you notice that the company itself is advertising and endorsing p2p over direct withdrawal they don't want you to withdraw from them directly eh? you have hundred thousand points eh, refer somebody new and sell those points to them the company is encouraging you they are endorsing it and they are discouraging direct withdrawal if you withdraw directly from the company two months you have not been paid it is even your upline that will not be telling you why are you doing direct withdrawal don't you know that the company is it's they they, they 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 don't pay on time why don't you look for somebody new eh? transfer that has not registered there transfer those points to them let them use it to invest then you collect cash from them it is faster then you see the company now will now increase withdrawal direct withdrawal charges so that you don't withdraw directly from them hmm? they will now make sure that p2p transfer within the website is free of charge they can say withdrawal fee now is 20 percent to discourage withdrawal they will now encourage p2p transfer where each member is selling to the other member mm -hmm. ponzi marketplace you start hawking your points i've made some points today oh somebody come and buy you oh. and me now if i have just fifty thousand points i have a big investor who wants to invest two hundred thousand points i'll sell my fifty thousand to them i'll call you my friend you have points you say you have points sent to so so and so person i collect money from you in fact stay away from any platform that has p2p transfer because that is their future plan those scammers they put p2p there because they know they are going there later when there's no more money to pay we'll turn it into a marketplace we'll run away you people should be selling to each other you have points now look for somebody now you sell it to the person transfer your theft from peter to paul they turn it into a marketplace everywhere scatter the original owners of the platform where are they <laughs> run no oh, it's time to run telltale sign number seven that your platform your ponzi platform is about to collapse premature diversification of investment now this company came out saying that they are into real estate few months down the line the ceo is saying eh, we are branching into agriculture yeah we want to try agriculture tomato farming mushroom farming few months after that one he said we want to go into hospitality yes we want to run hotels and top top notch guest houses across the federation the business is booming you too you'll be happy he'll wake up tomorrow he'll say we want to go into hospital equipment we're going to open a full-fledged hospital they are diversifying the one that the original plan real estate they have abandoned that one they are now diversifying that is proper mismanagement of funds that is incompetence of the highest order before you know your ceo will come to you and say eh, all our money you people should relax don't withdraw yet all our money is tied in agriculture you know we started agriculture that other day eh? so we have diversified so you people should wait at least corn and yam will grow before the farmer will eat and eh, we went into agriculture now we have planted your money we planted we dug the ground planted your money so we are watering it if i want to urinate now i urinate on top of your money so it will grow fast so be patient this is agriculture you cannot plant uh, cassava in the morning and, and 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 you go and invest in the evening give it time stories will now start so when they start diversifying anyhow from real estate to agriculture from agriculture now they have gone into oil and gas my brothers and sisters ah. <coughs> Run, oh. number eight and the most powerful sign that your Ponzi scheme is about to collapse. Listen to the news always. The financial regulatory bodies in your country, like in Nigeria now, the Securities and Exchange Commissions, they issue out warnings from time to time. And they call out the names of platforms. Don't joke with it. You can ask your upline. who will say, no, no, no. It's nothing. They, they, they are just looking for money. They want us to come and give them money. Nope. I can tell you from experience. If the Securities and Exchange Commission lists companies and warn the citizens against those companies, give them maximum four months. SEC will go after those companies and shut them down. So the moment SEC announces that the activities of XYZ company are illegal do not wait to be told my brothers and sisters go and use that withdrawal button and escape if not you just wake up one morning and hear that your ponzi ceo is in jail hey! 
So there you go. Those are eight, eight signs that your Ponzi scheme is about to collapse. Do you know any more signs that a Ponzi scheme is about to collapse? Please leave it in the comment section below. Let me also learn from you. You know, I don't know everything. Okay. Give this video a like so that YouTube will recommend it to more and more people. Subscribe now if you haven't done so before. You know, I like you. Oh yeah, subscribe now. Make sure you turn on the bell notification icon so that when I do another video, make me you will be the first to know. Till I see you in the next one, I remain Victor Sibo. Let me start going. Mm. Let me start going. I'll see you in the next video. Okay? Bye.